Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Friend Chin No B, and today's video is quite special because for the first time on the channel, I'm doing a video about a custom ROM, and it's probably the best custom ROM out right now for your Redmi Note 10 Pro or Note 10 Pro Max, and it's called as Pixel OS. As you can see, this is it. So yeah, Pixel OS is an AOSP based ROM which was announced a few months back I believe and it had been really popular among the Redmi Note 10 Pro and Pro Max users and yeah, it has quite a few things which are really special and quite apart from other ROMs out there. So yes, we are gonna discuss about Pixel OS on my Redmi Note 10 Pro which I've been using for about 2 or 3 months right now and I'm gonna tell you why you should flash this particular ROM on your phone to make it a better one. So yeah, if you're interested in this particular topic, then make sure to stick till the end. With that said, let's start the video. All right, so yeah, this is my Redmi Note 10 Pro and I've been using the Pixel OS ROM on this for about two months now and the experience has been pretty good so far. The ROM is really clean. It has made the phone a lot smoother than before, which is a really good thing. And yes, it has given me a few things which were missing from UI. So I'm going to start with the good things about the ROM and then I'm going to move on to a few issues that this particular ROM has. So to start off, this particular ROM is really clean. You don't get any bloatware with the ROM. It's totally clean. It's based on Android 12. It's an ASP based pixel ROM. So you do have pixel kind of UI and you also get material U with it, which is really nice. And it scales up really well, even with third party apps. So on uh, the pixel, uh, you don't generally get the material you think for the third party icons but yeah you do get it on this one so most of the third party apps do convert into the material U UI when they are put into the home screen so that's really good and yeah you get material U and full Android 12 just like pixels you get the at a glance function on the home screen and yeah it's very convenient and looks really clean and yeah, there are like few bugs here and there but overall it's a very clean and very snappy experience and the 120 hertz does work you can also force 120 hertz from the settings which is really nice and yeah it actually works a lot better than on miui there are much lesser frame drops on 120 hertz and it feels much more smoother compared to miui so overall i would say in terms of smoothness Pixel OS has done a great job. The developers of Pixel OS actually have done a great job in terms of the smoothness and the optimization. Now, you do get an always on display with Pixel OS um, because in MIUI on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, you don't really get a full fledged always on display. You would only get that tap option. But in this one, you get a full fledged always on display, which actually stays on all the time, which is really nice. And as I mentioned, performance is significantly better. I have not tried gaming on it as of yet, but I believe it will be similar because it has a 732G. So the game performance should be similar to MIUI a little bit up and around. But yeah, it's going to be quite similar, but the day to day performance is much better compared to MIUI. Now, uh, there are a lot of customization options present in the settings with the Pixel OS ROM. You do get a back tap option, which is actually a pixel feature. You do get that in here. You can assign it to Open Assistant, take a screenshot or any other functionality, which is really nice. I have assigned it to take a screenshot. So it's right now blown out. So if, I, if you can see this, if I double tap on the back, it's going to take a screenshot, which is really nice. So yes, you do get the back tab option, then you have the three finger screenshot, you have the double tap to wake on the lock screen, then uh, you have a lot of other gesture features that you can find under the gesture settings, which is really nice. And you also do have that double tap to open the camera app option, which are very like handy and useful features in your day to day life. So yeah, all those are available with Pixel OS on your Redmi Note 10 Pro, which is really nice. Now, you do get OTA updates with this particular ROM, which is really good, but nobody knows when it will come up. So yeah, it, you do, we will eventually get OTA updates, but yeah, it's gonna take some time because the developers work in small teams or individually to support this particular ROM. So yeah, it's gonna take some time. And also, uh, voice over Wi-Fi and voice over LTE is working. I've tried with both of my SIMs and both dual SIMs are working and you also do get carrier aggregation which is really nice now the best thing about this particular rom according to me 
is that it comes with the MIUI camera app. Yeah, you heard it right. You don't have to shuffle between different Google camera modes and all of that in order to find the perfect one for you. It comes with the MIUI camera app, which gives you access to all the three lenses and all the additional features that the MIUI camera app brings. And that is a very big thing for me personally, because uh, this makes my life a lot easier and all the three lenses work seamlessly. But one issue is that the slow motion doesn't work in this particular thing, which is a little weird. But yeah, uh, it is there. The MIUI camera app is there and you can access all of its functions and it works really well. Now, let's talk about a few issues that I found out with this particular ROM. Now, starting off, the network status doesn't show up on the status bar. Only the Wi-Fi shows up. So you have to pull down the status bar in order to see the network status, which is kind of weird. Uh, that's a bug, I guess which is present on this particular ROM. And apart from this, uh, at first when I first booted this ROM up, for the first few boots, uh, the Xiaomi charger was not working, so I booted it two or three times. And after that, the Xiaomi charger was working, but uh, full 33 watts charging doesn't really support as of yet. So yeah, the charging will be a little slow. And there are a few glitches here and there, like in the notification panel or when you're opening or closing an app. So there will be minor glitches here and there. Also, the HDFC Bank app doesn't really work. The HDFC Banking app doesn't really work on this ROM. It keeps crashing for some reason. I not really use that. I am not an HDFC customer. But yeah, my banking apps like ICICA Bank, SBI, all those work really well. But yeah, HDFC Banking doesn't really work. You can check out um, Rohit Agni Mukherjee's video on this particular ROM itself. He explains it. So yeah. It doesn't work, hopefully it will be supported in the future versions, but right now the HDFC backing end doesn't really work. Also, the battery life of this particular um, ROM is not really good, so I have to charge it by evening. If I'm continuously using the phone, it gives about 6 to around 6.5 hours of screen on time, and it has a 5000mAh battery, so that's kind of weird, um, but yeah, the battery life is not up to par. MIUI definitely had better battery life compared to this particular ROM. And also, this uh, the phone heats up randomly while using it uh, in this ROM it doesn't really hinder the performance but yes it does heat up and you will see warmth when using the phone so yeah that's one thing to notice so yes these were all of the pros and the cons that i found out after using the pixel os rom on my redmi note 10 pro uh, so if you want to see an installation of this particular thing i did it through adv uh, uh, through a custom recovery and yeah if you want to see the full installation process you can check out Rohit Agni Mukherjee he has a full in-depth video of this particular rom starting from the installation to the review on his channel so yeah you can check that out but for now I would say you can definitely daily drive this particular ROM on your Redmi Note 10 Pro if you're not an HDFC Bank customer. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for this ROM uh, for the Pixel OS review on my Redmi Note 10 Pro. And if you like this video, then do hit that thumbs up button and definitely subscribe to the channel to see more custom ROM content on this particular channel. And yeah, this is me Shinobi and uh, signing out. Peace.